Play six Naga drinks for cookbook, right? <laughs> what was what is the Billy Ghost buddy? What is this? Is this a Murloc lobby? Or do I have something? Ah, uh, we dodged for so long, man. Dude, whenever I play Meligos lately, I never see Ellie Cat. Am I cursed? Which card would you buy over Sally? Uh, Ellie Cat. Because I can hero power Ellie Cat and utilize Meligos hero power. It's the main card that you look for when you pick Meligos. You always want Ellie Cat in the pool. Okay, that's insane. Unfortunately, I have to play this down. I have to sell this first. So in case I transform Ellie Cat into Salamence later on triple accidentally. You should usually start with Tabby Cat first because you can technically hit an Ellie Cat pair. It's just a small thing though. It's like breathing to me to play correct, honestly. What was that wealth hit, bro? That was the biggest robbery of the century. Also that Bran isn't holding this turn. Weird champ. Play six Naga drinks for cookbook, right? What was it? What is the Billy Ghost buddy? <laughs> it was the transform guy, right? That transforms one higher tier or something. Two taverns above. Let's go. LFG, boys. We are going in. Boah! This is so good! I can make infinite six drops, can't I? <laughs> Soon. Like next turn. This is a YouTube game, guys. Hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and like. Appreciate it. Yo, Chilex, thanks for the three months. Ehrenman, thank you very much for the support. Appreciate it. YouTube top eight? No, it's a one. If it, it's a first. Dude, I had to hit right. Sort of for the protagonist angle here. Man, his quest is also good. Oh, Gellywix. But I will out roach them with smart plays, right? Man, that would have been really nice here. Okay, next time we finish it, and then we can make two six drops. Does he have the quest too? Yes. Dude, the almost quest is so impossible to finish. He just picked it because he wanted it, right? Why freeze for tier 1? That tier 1 always finishes quest. Why leveling to tier 4? And that's what I value a lot. Hello? <laughs> Sometimes when this happens, you just have to shake your cards. It's not even copious. It's literally how it works. I don't know why. I should keep the Naga. I should sell this then. Low scale. Six drop. Fuck. I don't want to hear for my Atram either, so it's really good with the Caligos already. No! Fuck you, Kelly Goss. <laughs> you baited me. Pretty crazy. You're doing great out there. 15 for fun. That's really good because he will not hit his partner in crime. Like, Gellywick's buddy is one of the strongest buddies in the game. 
Looks like I'm a teaser combo after all. That's a triple too. Murozond or Shell? Yeah, Murozond or Tempest, <laughs> I mean. Tempest can actually give me more money, right? Like, Murozond always gives me the same amount, unless I hold... Wait, I can actually hold! What is Toki's body? Toki's body is actually a discoverer! Mech! Actually, Murozond and then hold. That's the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I'm really strong anyways. This is broken, of course. Like, buddy lobbies are really broken. If you get your buddy before anyone else and your buddy is strong tempo-wise, you can snowball the game hard. That's what it comes down to. Like, he's doing the same thing. Like, he gets one card a turn and he finished it easily. He had a really easy quest. No, he has no buddy on board. He has no buddy, and he doesn't get lethal to you. Worst timeline, kinda. He deserved to die. He wasn't that strong. Pepe hands, man. The galley died. I can hit Uta, and then I would buy Hydra here. <laughs> what? The thing is, I want to find another Naga, I don't want to level you. <laughs> what do I do? I think I roll. Finding the Naga. I just hope it doesn't hit the deep sea angler, man. Other than that, every hit is fine-ish. Good thing I find Murlocs here. I'm the counter to Murlocs. I'm basically the Murloc daddy. Okay, wait. I am. Man, it sucks that this is a Murloc lobby. This would be so much more fun if it's not. But maybe I can tempo people enough that they take too much damage and they can't get there in time that's a good combo <laughs> i kind of want to make atramedes 15 15 and keep it but honestly i don't want to do that i would rather have hydra at the same time Fun and interactive as all things should be. <laughs> Do you have a level or is it useless? I think it is useful to level at some point, especially if I sell this, but at the moment I don't see a reason to level. When the Hydra isn't big enough. Like at some point I need Glow Scare. I'm so sad that I hero port my Glow Scare, but at that point I could have gone Kelly Ghost Direction, which is actually not that bad if you have like two Kellys and Atramedes early on. You can always find Nadina. Talking about Kelly Ghost. There's a goose. I think he has a full Reborn comp. I think I should commit the second Winfrey guy against Beast Comp. Poison Ball not good. I think not needed here. 
I just wanted to make sure I don't lose the leaper here. That's why I committed second to Wind Fury. No mega ball this turn. I, can't, I couldn't mega ball this turn. That was the issue. He actually still is alive. Okay, great. Now I want to be on 5 so I can find glow scale. Like that card is really important. It rises in importance with every turn that passes. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> okay, never mind. I had, I thought I would hit the glow scale there. Okay, great. The double. It was the wrong one. This game feels like I just ask for something and I immediately get it. But what's wrong with that, right? Lose, you're like three to four turns ahead. I'm ahead, but I can lose to Murlocs. <laughs> and I can lose to this guy. This guy is really, really dangerous. He's really ahead. Like he leveled really early to tier five. He's as ahead as I am. And he lost to this. Which was interesting. And every turn that passes where I don't queue into peep, uh, Murloc and this is a bad turn in a way. Because that means that I... Uh... Get weaker in a way, because my raw stat comp doesn't have much utility. I don't have a Wrangler in my build, for example. Now I do. <laughs> Honestly, I think I should just sell those two and get Manta Queen online and taunted already. Actually, non taunted is better. Never mind. Man, this guy has so many tech cards. That's actually a really annoying one. He has a Leroy and he has a Mantid. Take that away from him, Bob. He must have whiffed hard, man. He keeps losing fights. This turn wasn't that good for me. I didn't find much spellcraft cards. Now there's no point in leveling currently for me. I mean you can argue to level, but it's I think it's just better to cycle spellcraft cards, make your hydra bigger, and find a second glow scale. Patchwork buddy? Wait, did he, does Patchwork have what is Patchwork's buddy actually? Ah, oh, it's a health guy, right? Okay, here we go. See, now he all ins. Like he didn't all in anyone else, but he all ins me. Didn't all in the last guy. As I told you. So annoying that he just found it or just used it on my weak turn. A good tactical choice. Fuck. <laughs> if I know I hit Uta bad, I would have kept the Leroy there. I should have not done this order. This order was bad. I got punished for it. I have to hold the line here anyway. The only decision was to get the selfless or not. Garbage hits, man. He literally traded everything that has HP on my board. Oh, that was so annoying. Like, after first hit, I should win already. And then I got really bad hits. Yo, Chilwood, thanks for the prime and the four months. Appreciate the support. Welcome back to the kitchen. Thank you very much. Interesting how he dealt 15 to him. I need to wait this turn. And then uh, next turn I can all in. Like I can Leroy, 
Uta it, DFC Angler it, taunt it against him. And end on something like a selfless. And search close game. Next turn is ours. He beat Cookie, yeah, but Cookie wasn't that strong to begin with. Like, you can beat him if you just blast him, for example. If you delay selfless, if you run Leroy's, if you run Mantic Queens. I don't think that means much. If you have good Cyclone, it's... Obviously, I hope I'm not I just hope my Mantid doesn't hit the Mantid. That would be annoying as fuck. Good. Manta kills uh, Hydra kills uh, Manta and uh, the guy and the guy. Also, I'm on 18. It's almost impossible for me to die that fight. That's good. <laughs> Can't sell that. <laughs> this is also good to end on, okay. Then I have an idea. I shouldn't have moved selfless to one. Like I was concerned about that as well <laughs> after thinking about it. But it's fine. We did everything important in this fight. That's why it was important that I all in this fight so I have the glow scale available to myself. <laughs>